13th of September 1944, the 44th day of the Warsaw Uprising. The battle in Praga on the eastern side of the river has so far been relatively quiet. The Poles tried to take the northern part of Praga, but they were very quickly defeated by the German units there. Now, this is the front line. Soviet artillery starts to open up on positions on the eastern side of the river. The Russians indeed are coming. Over 150,000 troops are squaring up against 60,000 German troops. Now Hitler, in his rage, especially having uh, had the failed assassination attempt on his life on the 21st of July, uh, orders Warsaw, like every other city, to be defended to the last man. For the German soldiers on the eastern side of the river, one word starts to dominate, escape. A terrible panic sets in. Nobody wants to be stuck on that side of the river when the Russians come. After all the German atrocities in Russia, uh, they know exactly what's coming for them. So they try and get any means they can to get back across this river. But on this day in 1944, the main escape route, the bridges, are blown up. The Germans take this heavy decision, which means more than anything else, that they know this is a battle for Warsaw coming. But that might have been a thousand miles away for all Zbigniew Bichevich, stationed in the center of the city, cares. On this day in 1944, he assembles his men and checks their ammunition. They've got enough for 15 minutes of fighting. Whilst he's doing that, two senior Polish Home Army soldiers arrive and order him and his troops to knock a hole through a wall in order to try and attack a German position. And this wall had been something that the Germans and the Polish had respected, they didn't go beyond this wall. So, <laughs> Bukiewicz is incensed because they're going to have to break this little mini pact. Not only that, but they're going to have to smash through a wall in broad daylight. As they do so, the rounds start flying in and Bukiewicz, who is renowned for his almost suicidal courage, literally is so sickened by the stupidity of the order that he stands there dumbfounded as the sniper rounds come flying past his head. Earlier in the battle for the Old Town, one of his fellow soldiers had recounted how, as they were ordered into attack, Bikhevich had jumped up onto the barricade, which was opposite the German troops, and had turned around, sat on the barricade and given his men and soldiers a rousing speech before they went into attack, again with bullets flying past him. This time, having survived this, He's just so disgusted that he does what he usually does when he can, which is jump straight into bed and sleeps. Thank you very much for watching this episode of 63 Days of Extraordinary Courage. Please tune in to tomorrow's episode at 5pm Warsaw time, 11am Eastern Standard Time.